Hello there and welcome back to the School of Surgery. My name is Benjamin Baker, I'm an academic junior doctor and I'm delighted to welcome back here again Miss Arrowsmith, a consultant plastic and reconstructive surgeon with a special interest in hand surgery here in Derby. Today is the final one in our series of four podcasts about suturing techniques and again we are privileged enough to have the opportunity to demonstrate these on cadaveric tissues. Today's podcast is going to cover the Z plasty. So the learning outcomes for today's session are to be able to describe the indications and contraindications for Z-plasty, to be able to perform a Z-plasty, and to describe the potential risks. Indications. The Z-plasty is a technique used for scar revision and camouflage. It is a useful technique when a scar is perpendicular to the relaxed skin tension lines as these scars tend to be hypertrophic and more noticeable. Redirection of the central limb into the relaxed skin tension lines provides adequate camouflage. The Z-plasty can also be functional, helping to elongate or relax scars. Its specific indications include preventing contracture of a linear scar, changing a scar length, changing the position of a scar, closing skin defects, correcting a stenosis, transposing healthy tissue to close a fistula. The Z-plasty should be carefully considered in patients with risk factors for vascular compromise such as atherosclerotic disease, diabetes, smoking, collagen vascular diseases and those on anticoagulation medication. A history of poor wound healing, hypertrophic scarring or keloid scar formation is a relative contraindication. Z-plasty. The Z-plasty is the transposition of two triangular flaps of tissue. A Z is marked on the skin with the middle limb of the Z along the line of greatest tension of the scar. The two remaining limbs are traditionally marked at an angle of 60 degrees to the central limb and are equal to its length. An incision is then made among the marked Z. The triangular flaps are undermined by careful dissection and then transposed. The first stitches are placed at the corners of the triangular flaps to secure the transposed flaps in place and the remainder of the wound is then carefully sutured. As you can see on this cadaveric specimen, we've gained length along the central limb of the original Z by drawing in the tissue perpendicular to it. Risks. Flap necrosis. The tips of the triangular flaps have the least circulation. Remember to not make your angles 
less than 60 degrees when planning this flap. Hematoma formation as an increased area of dead space is generated when performing a Z-plasty and wound infection. So to summarise, today we've learnt how to perform a Z-plasty, its indications and contraindications and the potential risks of the procedure. So join us again here soon on the School of Surgery for some more podcasts. You can also find us on Facebook, but remember to pick the right School of Surgery as there are two. And you can find us on iTunes as well. We look forward to seeing you again.